All right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, first Wednesday of the new year, and let's do some more cooking here. First thing you wanna do, scan the old QR code that's up on the screen, and that'll take you right to a link for today's recipe. And today's recipe could not be any easier. It's ramen chicken casserole that brings back uh, lots of comfort foods, lots of nostalgic foods. Uh, this, you know, good old ramen noodle package. You're gonna take two of these. You're gonna take two of these cans of cream of chicken soup, two pounds of roasted chicken. Just went over to the chicken counter, took the skin off, took the bones off and cut it up. Two pounds of fresh vegetables. You can use frozen as well, but I uh, steamed up some nice uh, fresh ones. So here's how it goes. I already cooked up the uh, ramen noodles. I just wanna put a little bit of oil on top of it. A little bit of olive oil on top of it. And then once you do the noodles, these little packages that come in, the ramen noodle packages, that goes in next. And you're gonna give all of this a good stir. All right, so there we go. We've got that. Just, you know, kind of incorporated in a little bit. And then into this, we're gonna put the other ingredients. This whole thing can be done in like 20 minutes. It's so ridiculously easy. So I'm gonna do this in a bowl first. I'm gonna take my chicken pieces. I just went right to the, you know, the deli counter. Got one of those rotisserie chickens. Took the skin, took the bones off, cut it up into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna put the cream of chicken soup in next. I think this will incorporate a little better before I put the vegetables in. So I don't have to tear the vegetables up. So just really give it a good stir. It's completely mixed in together. And once you've got this together, the vegetables go in. I've got uh, broccoli in there, I've got some cauliflower, I've got carrots, some green pepper, uh, some uh, peas. Fresh or frozen, either one will work just fine. And if you do the frozen, you, you really don't even need to steam it up again because all of this is gonna go in the oven for about a half an hour once it's all mixed together. So once you've got this chicken and vegetable mixture together, then that is gonna go into a greased nine by 13 baking pan. Get all the goop in there. Spread it around a little bit. Noodles don't necessarily need to be on the bottom if you want to, you know, completely mix it up. Perfectly good. But this really is all there is to this. You want to talk about something easy to do. And then, once you're done with that, I've got some panko breadcrumbs here. I'm using the seasoned panko breadcrumbs. And have a light layer of these up on top. Into the oven, this now goes 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. And then when it comes out, everything gets nice and bubbly inside. The breadcrumbs brown up on top. And you've got yourself a stick to the ribs comfort dinner. Perfect for this chilly weather. How fantastic that looks. Really nice. Put a little in the bowl here so you can see. Noodles, the vegetables. This is a fantastic cold night dinner. Simple as that. And the recipe is uh, right when you scan that QR code right there with your smartphone. You can go to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. We automatically send these recipes out every week if you just text the word cooks to 97999. Wait, is that all 